All right, picture this. I'm at DEF CON, the world's largest hacking convention ever. It's my very first time being there, and somehow I just got roped into doing a live in-person CTF challenge or capture the flag. And let me tell you, I was just all kinds of nervous, like full-blown imposter syndrome, sweating bullets nervous. You see, I'm, I'm a networking guy. I don't normally do CTFs. And the whole time I was doing it, I was just thinking, please don't let me embarrass myself because I know I got to create this very video about it later. But what actually happened? Well, let's just say it turned out very different than I expected. So let's back up here a little bit. A week before DEF CON, I sent out a few emails to people I knew that were going to be there, just trying to make some connections. One of them happened to be the Hack the Box guys. I knew that they were going to have a booth there, and I just figured, why not reach out? To my surprise, they emailed me back and said, hey, would you be interested in meeting up and maybe even doing a CTF with us? And immediately I was like, whoa, I've only ever done a handful of CTFs online, never live in person, and now they want me to step up at DEF CON? But the more I thought about it, the more I was like, this actually could be fun. Nerve wracking? Absolutely, but fun nevertheless. All I knew was that this was to promote their new Holmes CTF. Hack the Box is actually dropping their first all blue team CTF that is coming soon. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. So the day of the competition comes and I walk up to the Hack the Box booth. The first thing I notice is this giant spinning wheel with all the different challenges on it. That's how we're gonna get our assignments. Spin the wheel, get your challenge, no picking and choosing. Of course, nobody wanted to go first. You could just feel how nervous everyone was. So, of course, we settled it the most logical way. Rock, paper, scissors. Of course, I ended up going last, which meant I had zero control over what challenge I was about to face. So they end up handing me my envelope, all stamped top secret and lined us all up right there in the booth. Then all of a sudden someone's right, all right, go. And I'm just standing there like, wait, what? We're starting right now? What do you mean go? What are we even supposed to do? That's when they explained to us that we've got three hours to solve our challenges. First person to bring back a hack the box challenge coin to them wins. And here's the kicker. We're actually allowed to recruit other people to help us. So instantly, everyone else springs into action. They're cracking open their envelopes, snapping pictures, and rushing off into these little squads of four or five people. It was like watching tactical units deploy, true divide and conquer stuff. One person's on Google, another person's digging through social media doing OSINT, another's roaming the con asking strangers for help. And then there's me, totally frozen there, just standing there with my envelope in my hands thinking, Wait, we, we can do that? So I panicked and started running around the conference, trying to convince random strangers to join my team. And you think this would be easy, right? I mean, I'm usually a pretty outgoing guy. I run a YouTube channel. I talk to people all the time, but something about being in person at DEF CON, surrounded by some of the smartest security folks on the planet, that imposter syndrome really hit hard. I've got this envelope in my hands, staring at it like it's in another language. Well, everyone else looks like they know exactly what they're doing. And let me tell you, that's when the real imposter syndrome starts kicking me in the teeth. I'm thinking, man, what am I doing here? These people are seasoned CTF players. I'm just a networking guy, but you know, I still try. I walk around for like another 20 minutes, maybe 30, trying to talk to people like, hey, you want to join my team? Hey, I could use some help. And nobody bites. Everybody's already locked into their groups, already in full problem solving mode. So there I am wandering the floor, watching these mini teams scatter like professionals while I'm just drifting alone with this piece of paper in my hand. And honestly, it felt like one of those movie scenes where the main character is frozen in a place while the whole world is all, all rushing around them. 
And finally, I just stopped. Looked down at the envelope and was like, okay, forget it. I'm doing this myself. Sink or swim time, let's go. I finally decided to open up my envelope to see what challenge I got. And honestly, I lucked out. Mine was an OSINT challenge, which compared to some of the other stuff on that wheel was probably the best case scenario for me. The task was to track down Gar and Jex, a couple of Hack the Box employees who were somewhere at DEF CON. No instructions on how, no obvious clues, just find them. So I sit down, pull out my laptop and start digging. I'm bouncing between LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, X, just searching everywhere for any signs of these guys. And I get lucky. I noticed that just a few minutes earlier, they had posted a picture of themselves hanging out at the Noob Village. Now, the only reason that I even knew where that was was because the day before, I'd wandered around the convention center and found it tucked away, hidden in this corner. So as soon as I saw that post, I slammed my laptop lid shut, threw my bag over my shoulder, and booked it across the convention center. I'm running through the convention center, backpack bouncing, laptop, camera gear, everything just weighing me down, just trying to get to the new village. You see, DEF CON is inside one of the biggest convention centers in the US. And even though it only takes up part of it, it still feels massive and it's absolutely packed. 30,000 people moving in every direction. I finally make it up the stairs, cut across the floor, and there they are, the Hack the Box guys hanging outside the noob village, talking to a bunch of people there. So I walk up <laughs> a little out of breath, and I'm like, hey, you guys got something for me? They both smile, pull out their phones, and send me a signal message. Inside is a cipher I have to decode to get a secret phrase. But before I can even touch the cipher, there is a riddle I have to solve to figure out the key. And it says, if I'm out of five, you're likely to thrive. If I'm out of one, ill fortunes to come. So I'm sitting there staring at this for a second and then it hits me. That's the DEF CON alert system. DEF CON five means peace. DEF CON one means <laughs> the absolute worst case scenario. That has to be it. I mean, we're at a conference called DEF CON as well. So after trying a few methods to try to decode the message, I realized it is a simple Caesar shift cipher. And the code phrase is, you are a great detective after all, Holmes. Of course, I knew it had to be something about Sherlock Holmes. At this point, I don't waste a second. I run straight back to the Hack the Box guys. I'm all sweating, out of breath, backpack was digging into my shoulders, but I just blur out the phrase to them. You are a great detective after all, Holmes. They look at me, nod, and hand me a challenge coin. And I'm standing there holding this thing like, okay, cool, at least I got this far. But that's when the imposter syndrome starts creeping in. I glance at the time. We're already an hour, 20 minutes into this three hour competition. There's no way I'm actually ahead. Everyone else had full teams, people working angles that I couldn't even think of. And I wasted half of an hour trying to recruit people just to help. So I assume the worst, I, I'm dead last. I'm that guy that's limping across the finish line while everyone else is already celebrating. But still, I was like, I gotta at least finish this. So I clutched my challenge coin tight, turned and literally started running across the convention center back towards the hack the box booth repeating in myself i'm too late i'm too late but i finally make it back down to the hack the box booth and by now i'm completely drenched in sweat out of breath clutching this coin like my life depends on it and i hold it up saying i've got it i finished and you know i'm bracing myself for them to say, nice try, but you're the last one. That's what I was certain was coming. But instead, they all started cheering. And I'm just kind of standing there, a little confused, like, wait, what? How many people have already solved theirs? And that's when they tell me, no one. 
that I was the first one back. I remember I just kind of froze for a second, like in disbelief, my very first CTF. I mean, I spent half the time wandering around completely clueless, battling imposter syndrome, convinced that I was going to embarrass myself in front of all these pros. And somehow I came in first place. And if that wasn't crazy enough, then they tell me about the prize. The grand prize for winning the CTF was I actually got to go out to the Las Vegas Motor Speedway and drive a real race car around their road course. I'm like, are you kidding me? One minute, I'm sweating bullets at DEF CON, thinking I'm about to make a fool of myself in front of all these other content creators. And the next, I'm strapping in to a full-blown race car, tearing around the track at some really crazy speeds. I mean, this was surreal for me. Honestly, one of the most coolest, most unexpected experiences of my life. So here's the takeaway from all this. I went into the CTF with some massive next level imposter syndrome. I mean, some of the people I was up against have been doing this for years, but instead of crashing and burning, I walked away with one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. And that's the point. You don't have to be the most experienced person in the room. You don't need a big team behind you and you definitely don't have to have it all figured out. Sometimes you just have to jump in Give it a shot and see what happens. And if you want to try it for yourself, like I mentioned, Hack the Box is actually launching their first ever all blue team CTF. The home CTF starts September 22nd. It is free to join and you can gather up to five people in your team and compete for over $10,000 in prizes. It is a perfect way to test yourself, learn something new, and maybe even surprise yourself the way I did. If a networking guy like me can show up at DEF CON, fight through all the nerves and somehow come out on top, then you absolutely can jump into homes and have a blast. Seriously, don't overthink it. Don't wait until you feel like you're ready. Just dive in. The link is down in the description below. Go sign up for homes now to reserve your spot and see where it takes you. And also, if you guys jump in, Drop a comment or shoot me a message and let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear your story because who knows, maybe you'll surprise yourself the same way I did.